Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to learn math. And in math, we're not going to learn about numbers today. But before numbers, we're going to learn about different concepts. Let's start with learning about identical shapes. So here, I'm going to draw a few shapes and you have to tell me which of these two shapes look alike. Let's try. This is the first one. And then I have another one here. And then I have another one. Now, can you tell me which of the two are similar here? The first and the last, right? These two shapes look similar. They are circles. Very good. Now, let's try another one. Okay? Which of the two do you think looks similar? Here, this one and this. These two rectangles. Very good. Now, I'm going to show you few pens here that I have brought. Now, can you tell me which of these pens look similar? There are four pens here, right? So, we have a blue. These two pens look similar, right? these two here. Very good. Now, let's look at the activity that's given in our textbook and let's see if you're able to identify the identical shapes. Let's start with the first one. They, they have asked us to color the objects that look the same in each row in page 42. So, we have four kites here. So, which of the two kites here look similar and have the same shape? It's the last two, right? Very good. You can color the last two. And now the second one. We have four different flowers. Or do we have two similar ones in this? So you have to identify which of the two look similar. The middle ones, right? They look identical. Very good. And next we have few handbags here. Here we have four handbags. The first one and the third one look identical. Very good. The next one are some fruits. We have mango and then we have apples and then we have orange, I guess. So we have two apples. Yeah, so two apples here look identical. The last one. Here we have four ice creams, cone ice creams. And then can you tell me which of the two looks the same? Is it the first one and the last one? No, right? It's the last two which look the same. Now, we're going to learn about big and small. I'm going to show you a few items here. You have to tell me which of them look big and small. So here, I have a box. Can you see? Let me bring out another box from here. So we have another box. Now you have to tell me which one looks big and which one looks small. Here, this one looks bigger, right? How about this? This one looks smaller. That's right. So let's do the activity that's given in our book. Let's turn to the next page. And here we have big and small. Color the bigger one in each set. So we have a cricket ball here and we have a football. Which one do you think looks bigger? The football. Very good. Football is big. You can color the football. The next, we have two flowers. One is a sunflower. The other looks like a pansy. Which one that looks bigger here? It's a sunflower. Very good. Now the next activity is circle the smaller one in each row. Now you have to find out which one looks smaller. It's the red chair. You can circle the red one. Very good. Now we have two fishes. One is a dolphin and the other is a goldfish. Which one here looks smaller? The goldfish. Very good. Now we have seen two boxes here, right? So I'm going to show you one more box. Let me bring out the third box. See, we have a small little box here. Now, 
can we see which one looks the biggest here? Is it these two? No. This is a biggest box, right? And then this one is the smallest. Very good. In the same way, there's an activity that is given. Let's color those pictures that they have asked us to. So at the end of the page, we have color the smallest and the biggest house. So here, we need to color the biggest. Which one do you think looks bigger? The last one. Very good. And then, which one looks smaller? The one next to that. Very good. So you need to color the last one which is big and the other one which is small. That's right. Now, we're going to look at long and short or tall and short. Okay. So I'm going to draw a line here. You have to tell me which one is longer. This is the first line and then I have another line. Which one is longer? Is it this one or this one? This one here is short and this one is long, right? Very good. Again, I'm going to draw another one. A curvy one. So, this one is short and this one is tall, right? In the same way, we are going to do activity which has been given in our book. Let's turn to page 44. Circle the girl who has the longest hair. Can you tell me which girl here has the longest hair? The girl in the green dress. Very good. We can circle her. And then the second one. Circle the one that is shorter in each set. Is it the long pants which is brown? No, it's the blue shorts. That's shorter. You can circle that. And then the next one. We have a long snake and a short worm. So the worm is shorter. That's right. The next one. Circle the one that is taller in each set. Now we have to identify the taller animal. Is it the giraffe or the deer? It's the giraffe definitely which is taller. And then we have a man and a boy. Who looks taller? It's the man, right? And now at the last one, you have to color the one that is shorter in each set. We have a tree and we have a shrub, a little grass there. Which one looks shorter? The grass. Very good. The next one is a, we have two houses. We have a hut and a big bungalow. So definitely the hut here is shorter. Very good. Now we're going to learn about thick and thin. Okay, I'm going to show you two books and you have to tell me which one looks thick and which one looks thinner. So here we have two books. Can you tell me which one looks thick and which one looks thin? This looks thicker and this one here looks thin. Very good. Now let's look at some of the activities that are given in page 45. Thick and thin. Color the thicker one in each set. So we have two rolls here. The second one is thicker. You can color that. And then we have two books. The fatter one, the thicker one and the thin one. Yeah. So the first one is a thicker one. Then the next activity, they have asked us to circle the thinnest one in each set. The needle here is the thinnest. That's right. And the next one. We have bread, we have biscuit and we have chips. So we have to circle chips. That's right. Because chips here looks the thinnest. And the last activity in this page is write the number 1, 2, 3, 4 in order. From the thickest to the thinnest. Color the candles. Which candle looks thinnest here? It's the second one. Yeah, we need to write the number one there. And then the next one here looks thinnest. So it's the second, two. And then the first candle looks thinner. So it's the, we have to write the number three. 
and the last one here looks the thickest so we need to write the number 4 very good now we are going to learn about more and few so I am going to show you few cards you have to tell me on which hand I have more cards and which hand I have lesser cards okay so here see I have few cards here I think can you count I have one two three four four cards in this hand and then I have so many in this hand so which one do you think has more this hand has more cards very good and this hand has fewer cards now based on this we are going to do a few activities in page 46 circle the group that has fewer cards and french fries so the first one like I showed you there are four cards so this is lesser we need to circle the fewer one and then we have french fries so the first one has so many and this one has only three so we can circle that one next one is color the necklace that has more beads in each set so can you see the second one has few the first one has so many so let's color it let's color it and make it look more beautiful this time and the second one has few flowers on it so the first one here has so many flowers so let's color that now we have an activity that is meant for you to do draw some fishes in both the bowls here there are two bowls that are given so you have to draw a few fishes in one bowl and some more fishes in the other bowl and you have to color the one which has fewer and you can count and see which one has more and which one has less now let's learn about heavy and light can you turn your pages to page 47 here they have asked us to color the heavier one in each set so we have a jackfruit and we have apple which one looks heavier it's the jackfruit it looks so huge and heavy very good so we can color that the next one is a cow and a peacock the cow is heavier and then the next one we have three items here we have a book we have a candy and we have a leaf which one do you think is lightest it's the leaf very good the next one we have a bathtub we have a bucket and we have a mug which one do you think is the lightest it's the mug very good now they have asked us to write numbers one two three and four in order from the lightest to the heaviest let's see here the feather looks the lightest so we write number one there and then which one comes lighter it's the book very good so we write number two and then comes the monkey it's three and then comes the car very good we write number four there let's try the next one we have so many furnitures here so the chair is the lightest so we write number one and then we have a bench number two there and then we have a table number three and then we have a cot which is four very good now you can do the activity that's given at the end of the unit in this they have asked us to compare the pencils that you have and the pencils that your friends have or you can even look at your pencil box just open your pencil box and if you have two to three pencils in that you can check and see which one is the smallest and which one is the biggest or you can even check among the people in your family or your brothers and sisters and see who has the biggest pencil who has the smallest pencil and you can also do another activity here you can look around in your family and see who is the tallest and who is the shortest wouldn't it be fun just to look around and see what is big what is small what is heavy and what is light and you can also pick up all the fruits and vegetables you have in your house and then see which is the biggest or the heaviest fruit that you have in your house the lightest fruit that you have in your house 
so i hope all of you had fun don't forget to do all the activities that i have mentioned now see you soon bye bye